Hey, East Discussants. My name is Rishi Rutan. I'm from the Annual Scientific Assembly Committee. And we're going to talk today about how to be a great discussant. First of all, we all want to thank you for taking the time and volunteering. I know it takes time away from other things. Uh, so we really appreciate you uh, taking the time to be a discussant. And we're going to talk about some tips. We wanted to provide you with some pointers that'll make your time up on stage a little bit easier. First of all, the general tone and communication with, your, um, with the author should mirror our East objectives. That is, it should be supportive and constructive. Your main objectives beyond that are to help the audience and the presenter and yourself stay on time. You have two minutes on stage to complete the discussion. In that time, you're encouraged to ask two questions based on the presentation that the author should be able to respond to. To formalize a long-standing tradition, please share these questions with the presenter ahead of time. So key tips for a successful discussion are do not summarize the findings, do not waste time thanking everybody up on the podium and your mother and your father and your siblings. Respond to the presentation which the audience heard, not the paper that you received in advance. And always remain professional. Don't mention receiving the paper late. Don't mention being a poor choice because it's outside your field of expertise. Please be mindful how you phrase your comments and criticisms. And again, our focus is to support our junior members and faculty that are up there presenting and to offer constructive feedback in a, a safe and supportive environment. Last thing, remember to have fun and the dress is casual. Hawaiian shirts are encouraged. Thanks again for volunteering. Uh, let us know if you have any questions. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing you up on the podium. Thanks. Today we're gonna to talk about how not to be a good discussant. Things that you should do before discussing a paper is look at the Sunshine Act and disclose your COI. Things that you shouldn't do is make comments and not disclose your COI. This is more of a comment than a question. Don't discuss your paper when you ask a question. In a recent paper published by me, your findings are not correct. And in fact, this is what I found in my experience, and you really should reconsider. Go. Uh, I, I, um, so I, I'm Sam Ross, uh, I'm doing the discussion, um, and I'd like to thank uh, the, the resident for such a timely uh, manuscript. It was very well uh, written, very well ahead of time, and I'd like to thank him again for being such ahead of time. I'd like to thank the moderators for this session, I'd like to thank the president, um, the secretary, and the treasurer. I'd like to thank the uh, committee members. Um, I'd like to uh, thank my um, my wife, of course, my children for letting me be here. Uh, I'd also like to thank um, the president again, um, and also our president, uh, Joe Biden. Uh, otherwise, we wouldn't be here. Um, I'd like to thank. Um, let's see, who haven't I thanked? I'd like to thank the Academy of Motion Arts and Pictures, um, and um, oh, in my discussion. Oh, I'm out of time. I'm sorry. I have one comment, three questions and a haiku. Yes, this was an excellent paper and a privilege to review. However, I did notice that most of your data appeared to be somewhat right skewed with a non-binomial distribution. I wonder whether maybe you should consider using a two keys post oak t x z squared test instead. And you might find, in fact, that the results are completely different. But anyway, if it's not an analyzed by Bayesian statistics, I don't actually even understand it. So um, how would you comment? I'd like to take the opportunity to take the next 15 minutes to summarize the presentation before I ask my questions. I received this residence paper, um, I received it at 12.05 p.m. and it was due at noon and so I, it's really irritating when I don't get the paper on time. Uh, additionally, it was in 12 point aerial font instead of a Times New Roman 11 point font, which was clearly explained in the in the instructions to the authors. Um, I, I, would, I would encourage the residents to thoroughly read that before submitting the manuscript, which makes it difficult for me to discuss. However, I will try nonetheless uh, to discuss this paper. Thank you so much for the opportunity to review this paper. It's the first time I've heard anything about this. And in my extensive Googling last night, in the five minutes that I devoted to this, I've decided that I have the following question.